I mean, so historically, Duolingo has always, we, you know, learning a language requires learning a bunch of different things, you know, vocabulary, how to read, how to write, how to listen, all kinds of things. Historically, we've tried to teach you all the aspects, including conversation, but we just were not able to teach you conversation very well because you need to learn this kind of back and forth. The only way we knew how to do that before, uh, you know, large language models was to pair you with another human. We tried that a few times with Duolingo, and it, it is an amazing thing pairing you with another human because when you asked our users, this is before AI, you asked our users, what is the thing that Duolingo needs the most? The most common answer was conversation practice. And then we would ask, okay, so you tell me, if we put you in front of another person, you would do it? And they're like, yes, of course, that's what, that's what I wanna do. Um, and then you even said, would you pay for it? And people are like, of course, this is what I wanna do. And then the next question was always amazing. Uh, the, the user researcher would ask them, so you want to do it right now? And they're like, no, not right now. <laughs> not right now. It turns out it's like 90% of the world's population just does not want to speak with another person that is a stranger in a language that they're not comfortable with. They, there's the extreme extroverts who will do it, but that's a small fraction of the world. The vast majority just don't want to do it. So we just, we couldn't do it. Um, but with AI, um, you know, now we have a way for you to talk with um, a, an animated character. People are not, they don't feel shy about that they, um, because they don't think that the character is judging them, even though that's literally all she's doing. She's going to say, isn't judgy. She's judgy. <laughs> <laughs> but they just don't feel bad about it. They don't feel embarrassed, less embarrassed. 